In this lecture, I want to show you some Simatic WinCC objects and programs that you can choose in other project, projects. The first one is WinCC Comfort, the second WinCC Advanced, WinCC Professional, WinCC V7.x and WinCC OA. As you see, we have a lot of WinCC, but uh, now uh, we don't know exactly uh, which one we should choose for the training, for programming, for the project. Uh, the name is not showing us uh, what exactly choose. In this lecture I want to show you uh, how I choose the WinCC V7. Okay, we have a lot of WinCC and our head is exploding like this picture, but uh, I can say it's not all WinCC products. In Simatic family we have also the WinCC Flexible and WinCC Basic. WinCC Basic is the for HIME panels system and WinCC Flexible is the old programs for um, HIME and uh, simple SCADA. Now Flexible is outdated and uh, moved with Comfort and Advanced versions with TRI Portal. Okay, now we know the names of WinCC projects, but which should I use for the project, for training, for programming? I prefer to understand what exactly we can make with this kind of programs because when we want to use the WinCC Comfort we go to simple way of HIME panels when we use WinCC Advanced we use also the local mode HIME panels but in some functions of SCADA system we can install on computer and we can use some specific functions. WinCC Professional is a good point because it's the powerful of TAA Portal uh, version 16 and uh, this Professional version can work with SCADA system with a server client and WinCC Professional, in my opinion, is a high level of programs and SCADA. WinCC V7 is the best option, in my opinion, because WinCC V7 is in market from 25 years and this SCADA is a classic SCADA from Siemens. This is the biggest market on the world with SCADA system from Siemens and if you know how to work with WinCC V7 you can make some projects and some modifications, some maintenance and some training with any other WinCC family. WinCC OA is the biggest one and this WinCC OA uh, is a very specialized system and I don't prefer to make this as the first SCADA system from Siemens because OA has different language and if you know the OA it doesn't correspond to WinCC V7 or Professional with the portal. Now let's make the fast overview of this system. Like you see, the three first is the Comfort, Advanced and Professional. All is programmed with TIA portal and all work with uh, the newest PLC from Siemens in Synergy. The first is the four panel solutions like we said, and for local work. 
the second WinCC Advanced you can install on PC. You can use like local project and you can use like the small SCADA system. WinCC Professional is the best and powerful SCADA in TA portal, like I said before. The next classic SCADA WinCC V7. And the last is WinCC OA, open architecture and specialized for the customer. And uh, this system is the most powerful portfolio. And now if we put some legend of from green to red. So on the comfort side we see the small applications. And on WinCC OA we see the large, the wide range of application. So we see that our WinCC V7 is the biggest one of WinCC application except the WinCC OA it's not in our at the beginning of our training. Now I put out some uh, WinCC, the Comfort and Advanced because we don't need the HIME uh, solutions and let's make some SCADA comparisons. WinCC Professional, the best in this SCADA is that we have all integrated TIA solutions. So, if customers wants all in S7-1500 and uh, all with TIA portal, so we can provide the SCADA also with TIA portal. This solution is scalable from basic HIME to SCADA. And this SCADA can be up to multi-user system. It's nice. The second one, WinCC V7, is like I said, the standard SCADA. This is designed to work with Microsoft software packages. So we can make the models with Excel, the words, Microsoft Access. This WinCC V7 is very modular because uh, it's in market, in world mar market since 25 years. And uh, during this time, Siemens uh, got some special models for WinCC for the customers. And this WinCC has these models inside. So you can buy something special and you can uh, use this right now. And WinCC Professional doesn't have a lot of models. WinCC V7 is very easy to integrate with third-party solutions. So if you want to use the C-sharp programs or JavaScript library and you need to make the communication between this API and applications, you can easily make this with WinCC V7 uh, because it's modular and it's really easy to integrate. Also WinCC V7 has own IP uh, and this IP can work like WinCC ODK system. WinCC OA is the biggest and the most powerful system in uh, Siemens mm, is customer specific ad adaptability uh, but this system can work with Oracle, Linux and Solaris it's different kind of solutions this solution can work with over 1.5 million tags it's huge number the mine the biggest system i did is 40,000 tags so you see the difference 
and this system can work with up to 2048 servers so if you want to have the big system for the uh, whole country for example for gas or water system for example you need WinCC OA WinCC V7 has some special modules like I said in uh, these modules you can find the audit if the validation so if you have the pharmacology industry you need this the second one is the connectivity pack this connectivity pack can work with special database inside WinCC and this connectivity pack can send data from the archive packages to for example uh, customer servers this is the powerful web UX when you have the WinCC V7 computer you can also use the web UX server inside this computer and you can connect with your mobile or a tablet into WinCC application and make this asynchronically so one operator can see one screen and second with mobile phone can see different it's it's nice and the newest one in WinCC V7.5 is MQTT protocol so we can connect to the cloud now when uh, all factory go into digital mode we need this like i said on beginning of this lecture i chose the wincc v7 for this course because in my opinion is the most powerful with the lowest knowledge needed to train with this so we can make the step by step training to make some nice SCADA system during this course.